It's difficult for someone who's not Israeli to understand the impact of Rabbi Uri Zohar, Zeich Tzad Levracha. Uri Zohar was the leading actor of his generation, the leading film producer and the leading stage producer, all rolled up into one person. In 1976, he was awarded Israel's highest civilian award, the Israel Prize for cinema, which he declined. In 2012, Cinémathèque Française in Paris held a retrospective of all his major films and he was described as one of Israel's most interesting film directors. The shock tremor that secular Israelis felt when Uri Zara turned his back on his glamorous celebrity lifestyle and became religious was a mixture of total disbelief and a deep sense of betrayal. His life change was a beacon for many Israelis who followed his lead but secular Israeli society never really forgave him, even till now. On the 10th of June, in Haaretz, a leading left-wing Israeli newspaper, they ran the following article. Uri Zohar didn't die now. He passed away in 1978 when he began to repent. In Pasha's Baholosha, when Yitro, Moshe's father-in-law, wanted to return to his home in Midian, Moshe said to him, please do not leave us inasmuch as you have been eyes for us. This is difficult to understand. Who had a clearer insight into the workings of this world than Moshe, to whom God spoke mouth to mouth? And what additional contribution could Yitro make to the Jewish people, led as they were by Moshe and Aaron, and having the Shechina, the divine presence, rest on them? A person's success in building himself comes in large part from the example of his teachers and his mentors. But the Jewish people also need the inspiration of a Yitro. Yitro had explored all the known religions of the world before he came to Judaism. Yitro was someone who had taken hold of his own life, his own destiny, and shaped it with his own hand. Someone who had pulled himself out of a spiritual wasteland with the pure toil of the soul and the burning desire for the truth to seek and to become close to God. That inspiration is needed even by those who've had the privilege of growing up with the Moshe Rabbeinu as their Rebbe. And such a man was Rabbi Uri Zohar, Zecher Tzadik, Livrocha.